caught up with some top directors at Sundance 2017 to ask them our questions about the craft of directing. To start, we asked, what's your process for working with actors? One is just spending time with them and really getting to know them and understand what makes them tick. And then the other is just watching their work. I mean, it's really about emotional objectives and understanding the subtext and you know, just trying to pull something dynamic out of the actors. So, um, you know, every, every scene is different, but for the most part, we, we really try to focus on one thing at a time so the actors can be in the moment. The last thing I want the actors doing is thinking about something they're trying to achieve or play at. I just want them to kind of forget about themselves because you really get the sense that the actors aren't acting. It's real and they're just sort of um, being in the imaginary circumstance. Why is it important to support female directors? My daughter the other day was saying to me, you know, why don't you braid my hair like the other girls? Their moms know how to do like a fishtail braid. And, and then she's like, and my mom did it. And she did this, this tween thing. She went, and then I said, when that happens next time, tell them your mom's starting an empire. <laughs> and later she came up to me and she smiled and she said, mommy, when I'm old and I talk about you, I'm gonna tell that story. So I feel like, yeah, we need to, we need to lead by example. Um, we need to support other women filmmakers. We need to support people, entrepreneurs, businesswomen. Focus, people, we are running out of time. You know, not just women, but anybody who's, you know, not had opportunity for whatever reason. How do you work on a tight deadline? Cette semaine, cinq jours par semaine, 35 jours. Je n'arriverai jamais à tourner un film pareil en 35 jours. Then I knew like I didn't have much time. I had 18 days to shoot this film, had a lot of characters. We was going really fast, so I knew I had to shoot wise and masters. That was a decision that I had made, you know, before I started shooting. Cause that was the best way I would be able to get the entire film in 18 days. In less than six months, an idea turned into a movie. If I'd had an extra three months, the movie wouldn't have been better, it wouldn't have been different. Uh, I was just forced to just raise my game and make the right decisions at the right time. And I think that just made for a really interesting creative process. I've got limited time, so I'm trying to have the best frame possible that can have so much things done, you know, between that frame. Almost like a canvas, really, or a painting, you know. You look at a painting and so much things happen within one frame. What are some visual techniques you've used? That's beautiful, man. That's great. A lot of it was point of view, being with Lily's character but not being too inside of it. You know, I really tried to hang back and not tell people what to feel and to show the behavior without commenting too much on it. You know, the cinematographer and I had a really strong point of view about how to shoot her to keep her isolated in frame. We used a lot of tricks. Put them in what I call just a terrarium and that's what I thought about a lot making this movie was this terrarium with these actors within a frame doing their thing within a larger frame to create this sort of observational feel and a little bit of a slightly elevated comedic world. Why do you use negative space in your framing? It's really about isolation, you know. It puts so much emphasis on what's outside the frame that we don't see. And because we don't see but we know there's something, you, 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 it makes us feel isolated and distant. What do you want people to be feeling when they walk out of the theater? The importance of telling the truth and speaking your mind. I just need to move on, find somebody new. Not you necessarily. And also it's just about connection with our fellow human. Well, I want people to feel like they've been touched. Uh, I want them to feel like exhausted, like they've experienced something that's true, that's honest, that's meaningful, that makes them think about their lives and their relationships and, and what dating is and what, what a meaningful long-term relationship is. I guess for me it's really about us as a society to start really questioning or uh, how we interact with people around us. How we, how we, for me that's really the objective of this film, it's really a dialogue for, for us as a society to really think about certain things, things we neglect, things we, the plights of others. You know, the best stories are the ones that have some truth in them, and the best stories are the ones that make you feel something. Um, I want to go to the movies to feel, um, and sometimes I want to feel, you know, Captain America, you know, punching someone in the gut, but, but other times I, I want to feel what it's like to be alive and, and understand other people better, so that was my hope. What do you think makes a good director? Sensitivity, I think. To be sensitive to people's emotion is really about emotion, really. Um, being able to see things from different perspectives and I believe in the duality of things. 
you know i don't believe there's one way to anything i think life there's duality and and i embrace that so it's really that for me i think just just a good listener somebody that really understands how to take in the information and what's going on and how to slightly guide it or tweak it or say something to one actor to influence the other actor, whatever it is. I mean, I think it's just a great director is a great listener. Who are some of your inspirations? Going back to like Robert Altman. True. We're just talking, right? Yes, Marion, we're just talking. How long are you going to do that? Do you know what time it is? Old Milos Forman movies, um, Alexander Payne. When do we drink it now? Mm. Are you chewing gum? No. Spit it out. Well, um, I'd say Lars von Trier, Breaking the Waves. Steven Soderbergh. I mean, there's just so many films have influenced me and so many great filmmakers that now it's just kind of in me through osmosis, I guess, over the years. What advice would you give to someone who wants to be a director? A tournage de film, ça ressemble exactement au trajet d'une diligence au Far West. D'abord, on espère faire un beau voyage, et puis très vite, on en vient à se demander si on arrivera à destination. Yeah, just make them. I mean, today's day and age, it's, you know, you know, the idea of waiting for this to happen or this actor or this money or this or that. It's like, you know, you, you can waste time really fast by doing that. So, you know, just go make movies. So to recap some of what we learned about directing, spend time with your actors, get to know them, and focus on one thing at a time so actors can forget about themselves and be in the moment. Lead by example and support others who lack opportunity. If you have limited time to shoot, decide a plan before you get on set and consider using wide masters instead of lots of close-ups. Time can force you to raise your game and make the right decision at the right time. This picture is my child. What would you say if the studio said your daughter Jennifer would look better with her fingers chopped off? Well, being an insecure writer, I'd call my agent and get a second opinion. <laughs> Think of your frame like a canvas or a painting where a lot has to be communicated within just one frame. Think about point of view and what you want to say about your character through the perspective of the camera or sound. Consider what's outside the frame and what we don't see. The best stories have some truth in them and make us feel. A good director has sensitivity, understands the duality of people in life, and is a good listener. Uh, maybe a little more tension when you see him. I thought I didn't see him. Right. Maybe you see him a little bit. And if you want to make films, just make them. Get started. I shouldn't make movies anymore. I should go to a lunatic asylum. <laughs>